Hey everybody, Chris Harad here. Today we're starting a playthrough of Metro Awakening in VR. I have played through a major VR title before. It was one of the best experiences ever. I'm very much looking forward to this one. Now, uh, this game is made by Vertigo Games in collaboration with Deep Silver. They're also sponsoring this video, so thank you so much for that. The biggest question we need to decide right now is what's our difficulty gonna be? Easy, normal, hardcore? <laughs> we're gonna go, we're gonna go hardcore. I'm pumped about this. Check out links down below. The game's coming out November 7th or November 5th if you pre-order it on certain platforms. I am simultaneously excited and freaked out about this because I am in it. I do have low motion smoothing on for viewers so that it's less jarring when I move my head around. It's been five years since nuclear war devastated Russia's capital. A few thousand people found refuge in the world's largest atomic bomb shelter, the Moscow Metro System. Down in the tunnels, away from the deadly radiation on the surface, a new makeshift civilization has been built upon the ashes of the former, a society of infighting factions in a constant battle against praying mutants and famine. For those who remain, there's no room for hopes or dreams. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm on my way. So for those that don't know, we are playing as Sir Dar, and we are experiencing his transformation into Khan, who is kind of like this uh, like supernatural character almost in the earlier Metro games. He's got this connection to the tunnels that nobody really understands, and this is about his transformation from Sirdar to Khan as we knew him in the previous game. So this appears to be our office, if you will. Relax, Evgeny. Yeah, thank you. I'm busy in here tinkering with my toys. Of course, we gotta play around with them. I can hear you in there. <laughs> Some VR funsies here. Now I'm using a, a teleport movement style. You can change that to continuous if you want. That takes a little bit of getting used to for me. And I, uh, I really like the teleportation thing. And so what I mean by that is I can look at the ground, pick a spot where I wanna go and then go there. Now early on, we're a little bit more uh, restricted in how far we can move, but that's gonna change pretty soon. Because normally I'll be able to go just like all the way to that door, but right now it's kind of limiting me just to so I get my bearings straight. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out just a couple of neat things here before we go. As you can see, my uh, VR guitar playing pretty exceptional. I will refrain from singing because nobody needs that. But yeah, you can do uh, anything. You can play any of these things. You get it. Let's get in here. Come, Sergei is waiting for us. Seriously, Serdar, who sleeps during the day? And yes, I know, there is no difference between day and night down here. Now, another thing to know is you can set it up so that you can rotate your character with the controller if you want. But for me, I'm standing in my space, I've got a boundary set up, and I like to move around in the space. Uh, so I teleport and then I'm moving my body to look around. So if I want to like duck, then I'm actually ducking. You can do a button for ducking like this. But uh, yeah, you can just react to your body, which is pretty fun for me. I get that you need every man, but I can't just leave this place. It's not a request. And we'll ensure your wife and kid are protected. That's not the part that worries me. You're scared? What if I am? We all are, Piotr, which is why we need you. I'll be waiting for you at the barracks. Doctor? Good day. Howdy. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Doctor. Hello. 
She must have been hearing me play and picked up on a few things. That's sick. Slavers don't rip people's arms off. Okay, I've heard enough. How am I supposed to sleep tonight? With a gun underneath your pillow. <laughs> As is the way in the metro. Zelda. My man. 12.07, that's real time time. You likely already heard the rumors. But there was a mutant attack on one of our guard posts. We are preparing a team to take them down. So everyone's a bit tense, as you might imagine. Gentlemen? Ahead of you. I will. Thank you. Well, guys, let's have a drink. To living. To life. To life. Glory ah, to Astorkia. Great stuff. Yes. Listen to me, Han. You're not a bad guy, but you keep to yourself too much. Always sitting with your books, even talking you into getting a drink is tough. Lighten up a bit, man. Yeah. Or you'll just end up all alone. I appreciate the advice. I don't want to die! Sergei, bring the man! Sound the alarm! I want it. Alarm, there is under attack! Oh, okay. Overheat. Let's go, gentlemen. He kept shouting, hit them in the chest, hit them in the chest. You would think you'd want to hit them in the face, but... What do I know? Oh, jeez. Man. Okay. Can you get? Okay, this guy's good. This guy's good. I feel useless right now. Shoot him, maybe? Yes, 
Go, 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 go! coming <laughs> that's one way to start that is certainly one way to start. Oh man. I've only gotten to play a couple of sections of this game in any preview stuff that I've done. And I am very pumped to see where we're going here 10 years later, okay? Do we rely on our eyes too much? Are we too convinced that the things we can see are real and those we can't see are not? What's true darkness and what's true blindness? Open your eyes and you shall see. Whoa. Or you shall not. Sometimes one must get into an utter darkness in order to begin to see. We avoid the darkness because it hides things that may be too horrible for us even to imagine. It's the unspeakable that scares us. The unspeakable that the darkness holds within. It's the acid that corrodes the limits of the world we think we know. Immersed in the dark, you can't avoid it any longer. You can only embrace it. <laughs> Take me. <laughs> Sorry, did you say something? Are you okay? I've been yelling at you, but you just kept standing there, staring off into space. Flap thought you were one of those boogeymen the exhibition guys were babbling about. He almost shot you. I'm fine. I just had the strangest feeling of deja vu for a moment. Deja vu, eh? Isn't that what they call it when you experience a memory from a past life? Past life? Pfft. It's a misfiring of electrical discharges in your brain, causing an illusion, nothing more. <laughs> if you say so. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back home. Oh, I'm sorry, of course. Turn the key to start the trolley. I, so I think what that's about is, like, we're a doctor here. We're a man of science. But we know that this journey is about our kind of spiritual awakening and how we become con this, like, uh, prophet of sorts and that's interesting that we just describe a deja vu as kind of nothing but this these electrical impulses be safe sir i'll be all right well here we go ladies and gentlemen
I've been waiting so long for another, like, proper VR game. This is like, this is a blast. This is... I really hope that VR continues to build in popularity because... Like, these are... This is an experience... Like, it's hard for me to translate on a screen for you, probably, but this is... I'm in there. Like, I'm in it. And it's... Uh, you have to experience this, you guys. Like, you gotta... You have to. At some point in your life, if you get an opportunity and you've never tried VR, oh, man. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. Wow. So this is a prequel to Metro, if you didn't know. It's a standalone story. If you've never played it, you don't have to know anything. You could dive in right here. That would be totally cool. Okay. Whew. So now we can go a lot further and cover a lot more ground with the... Uh, with the teleports. Now, I can just crouch myself or I can click the button. Can I go over top? No, okay. Hop aside by flicking the highlight stick left or right. Oh, okay, so if we're getting shot at or something, I could be, like, jumping around and I don't have to be actually jumping around. Thank God you are back. Max has been up my butt asking where you are literally every five minutes. <laughs> Tasha, treating drunken merchants for radiation sickness really goes as planned. He said to send you down to the mushroom farm as soon as you turned up. And word of warning, our station chief is not in one of his better moods. <laughs> I look forward to seeing one of those firsthand someday. Have you considered asking him to not be up your butt? No? That's fair. Now, at some point, we're going to get a flashlight. And that is going to be the greatest day. The greatest moment ever. The Reds leave us alone. The Nazis leave us alone. Even the mutants leave us alone, mostly. Life's good, yes? But consider this. It's 2028. We survived a nuclear apocalypse and radiation, and all the shit life has thrown at us since. But you tell me, where is everybody? I don't mean Moscow or Russia. I mean the world. We're down here, pacing all over each other's territory, like metro station is the goddamn winter palace or something. Even under the surface, it's not like we're hard to fight. But you're telling me not one plane survived on the entire planet? No one's ever figured out how to contact a single satellite? Or maybe, just maybe, we're not even part of that world anymore. What if the bombs didn't change the world? They moved it to an alternate dimension. Huh. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. I'm telling you, open your feeble little minds and really listen to what I'm saying. We're here in the Akademicheskaya. Hansa leaves us alone. The Reds leave us alone. Okay. So he's got his rhetoric that he's spewing. Life's good, yes. But consider this. It's 2028. 
That could have been awkward. But you tell me, where is everybody? I don't mean Moscow or Russia. I mean... So this is five years before Metro 2033. Max isn't in his office. If you go through the living quarters, you might still catch him. Okay, thanks, I guess. Wow! They've got so many different types of mushrooms here. That I want. Uh, I told you, you would like Agademicheskaya. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. Legit. All the pages? What's this one worth? Keep your books. So cool in here. Okay. Just like that, like the atmosphere is just like, whoa. I think they mean like fuchsia. <laughs> fuchsia? The painting, painting stripes on the backings. Since people keep walking into them at night. Are you kidding? Good evening. We just painted them. Hello. And where's he even going to find pink paint? This is Max we're talking about. Apparently he already did. So now he wants us to go around painting pink stripes on things? I don't know. He said he still wasn't sure about the shade. The shade? Does he really believe anyone will be able to tell the difference with this shit, right? <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, sir. Have you talked to Max yet? I heard there's trouble with the mushroom. I'm looking for him. I'm on my way to see him now. Oh, good. Uh, he went that way. Thank you, brother. Must be through there, but... I just want to see what else is happening in here. Okay. Hey, Max, Sanders here. One sec. Yeah, yeah, send him in. He doesn't sound too mad. Somewhere. So somebody's missing. I gotta go. Max out. Want to switch jobs? Maybe you should chase runaways and assholes all day and let me run around playing doctor for a while. I've got a very healthy list of people I'd like to stab with a needle, let me tell you. I think you may want to work on your bedside manner. Don't even start. You and your wife are not my favorite people right about now. Yana, has something happened? Has something happened? He asks. 
if by something do you mean did your wife destroy our mushroom farm because she heard the voice of her dead son again? Okay. So then yes, something happened. Is she all right? She's a lot better than her mushroom farm. Gee. Oh, cool. Oh, that feels so good. And there's ha. more in there where that came from. Five years to build this steam system. Hundreds of issues to consider. But you know what scenario never came up? What if you can't hear the voices of the dead inside your pipes? I don't understand. Yana was doing so well. <sighs> I'll take care of it. Yeah, well, I promised it 500 times already. I'm up to my eyeballs and bullshit today, so I don't need any more, okay? Sorry. Go, go check on your wife. But then, you come see me. Friend or not, this station is my wife. Okay. This has to be the end of it. Noted. Oh man, like, oh, there's going to be stuff like, ah, these tight spaces, people, things are going to be chasing me. I'm just like, I don't know if I'm mentally prepared. I'm a vampire. Oh, these are broken. These are not mirrors. <laughs> these are windows, guys. These are windows. You good? Chatty one. Here we go. Oh my god. That's wild. Get up on the platform by letting go of the ladder once your head's above the floor. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, if you're thinking right now, it's dark in here, you're correct. It is dark. And I think that's intentional. Can I take this? Oh, come on. I mean, I guess. Automatically descend by walking into the ladder. Oh, nice. Okay. That's cool. I hear you. Over there, no. There might be a valve downstairs. I guess you want me to get that then? Cool. I'm a doctor. Seems seems about right. Okay, I gotta get that shut off. Here we go. Sounds great. Man, when you're scaling this, like, to me, it really does feel like I'm doing it. It's so bizarre. 
Okay, there's also, hold on a second. Oh, can I not get back up there? Oh, that, I think that's a dead end anyways. Hello? The police come there. Sorry you have to jump after the castle, but you can imagine who you have to thank for that one. Operate your flashlight by moving a hand over your head and pressing the highlighted button. Oh, sick. Okay, well, now we're talking. Oh, jeez. At some point, we get, like, a, a flashlight that we also need to charge. <laughs> it is, like, pitch dark in here otherwise. Your flashlight requires... Re oh, okay. Yeah, well, here we go. Oh, so this is part of it. Grab the backpack with your left hand from your left shoulder. Grab your charger. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's gonna be... Okay, sorry, I knocked my mic off there. Is this her? You okay? So, then is my calling as an interior decorator. Perhaps. Hey, go on then. I know you're down to start doctoring me. Max said you were fit. Do you feel up to tell me? Do you, is the question. Stop taking my yellow pen, though. You're Keep in mind I was still taking them when I decided to stop. You've been through it. that it hurt me. Your meds didn't make me lose it. On the contrary, it kept obscuring my ability to hear what I was so desperate to hear. Ah, hallucinations are not trivial. What you assume are hallucinations. No hear voices. No one else. The fact that you won't even consider any alternative is the reason I threw the yellow pen out in the first place. You threw them away? None of you have ever heard that so how can you know what I'm hearing? But she died, Janet. That was our son that passed. He died, Janet, 15 years ago. And you can't hear the nature of a boy for 15 years. Where's the shuttle? Back there, through the vent. I feel like I'm gonna need that, but we'll see. So she is the one that's seeing things right now, or experiencing things. I think there's a walk in the maintenance shaft. Okay. Do I need that, or am I overthinking it? Yes, I am. Here we go. Oh my god. I am not a fan of heights, too, so like... I'm just not going to look down. Okay, let's go through here. Probably not the last time it's going to happen. Max mentioned the young girl who disappeared from the station. Could you have someone discussing? No, mister. There has to be a reason for everything. 
I didn't hallucinate my son's voice because of a bunch of gossiping busybodies. For all things, there is an explanation. Even the one is too terrible to accept. I can't exactly tell that to Petya, can I? I'm sorry. It wasn't fair. Not when you're only kidding, so. My love is not something you ever have to apologize for. It is for you. Go on. Run back to your boyfriend, Max. I heard him whining for you to go see him once you made sure I wouldn't burn anything else down. I think I've earned a little hard labor. Just give me some time, okay? I couldn't imagine losing a child, man. That is uh, That's unbearable. Insane. Looks like I can reduce some of the pressure from here. Okay. I guess we'll talk to you later. What is this? Oh, cool. I like a postcard. Can I take this? Oh, oh, cool. Check if you collected all postcards for this chapter by looking at the journal on the backpack. Oh, neat. Oh, okay, so if I look at this, it's a little bit of an inventory. Postcards on the left, and then looks like bullets, supplies, maybe healing. And then I don't know what that button is on the right, but I guess we'll see. Nothing? It's fine, I didn't want to go there anyways. Oh, that's where I came from. <laughs> that's actually so satisfying. Very cool. You okay? He's good. Max passed through a while ago. I guess you saw what happened at the farm then. It's being taken care of. Thanks. And it's totally not my wife's fault or anything. Serdar! Max is back. He's up in the office. Great. I'm sure this will be a great, great little chat. You're a child. I'm the boss. Okay. The way this jungle is growing, we may never have to repopulate the surface. I doubt God invented plastic with nuclear winter in mind. But hey, a fake garden is better than no garden at all, eh? I'll give you that. How is Yana? Pretending her husband isn't a hot-headed, insensitive ass. You know what? Good. Say stupid shit more often. Your two are so lovey-dovey as it is. I, I, I literally throw up in my desk at <laughs> least once a day. She was trying so hard to be reasonable. My friend, I've watched you both in your several lifetimes worth of bullshit just to try and make her feel halfway human again. Trust me, your wife knows that. Let us hope so. In any event, the more pressing concern is that it appears Yana has uh, run out of her hollow peridol. That's why she lost her edge. Uh, you and bad timing, pal. The stalker who tracks down your fancy medical stuff, very talented lady I used to run with, named Nata. She was supposed to make a delivery over a week ago, which is long enough that I think I may have to strike Nata out of my little romantic birthdays calendar, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Though, I do know the route she usually takes. Could the medication still be there somewhere? 
goddamn holy grail could be there. Max, why don't you just tell me where the route is? Because you'll go. And from here, the first thing you'll hit is a Nosalis Dam. That's probably the most relaxing part of the trip. You forget, I am not, shall we say, inexperienced when it comes to Nosalis. All right. You're all stationed. Sorry. Um, anyway, normally I'd uh, hire some poor suckers to go, but since we're uh, running low on poor suckers right now, my lovely voice in your ear will have to do. I'll be the poor sucker, thank you. Stick it to your shoulder like this. Voice activated. State of the art, when there was a state of the art. It's almost like living in the future. And for times when my wisdom alone does not suffice. Oh, now we're talking. I've heard they don't do much without those bullets. <laughs> you want an empty cliff just to look cool? Go <laughs> on, smart guy. Take it. Yes, I know. Very pretty. Now do me a favor and holster it while you're in the station. Okay, cowboy. We have cool. to at least pretend we are civilized down here. So if I just chuck this, Lots I just always grab it here. Same supply cart that dropped. Gorky Park off here is still uh, out on the station. And since nobody killed Akim on his way back here, his spare ammo should still be in the trolley as well. Max, you there? One sec. Truck two, call me when you find the ammo. Okay, I'm here. Let me find the ledger. Okay, thanks. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I know. Wait, let me check. Uh-huh. No. Sure. I'm not getting anything Give from him. Okay, we need to find ammo in hey, the trolley. Yeah? Who? Hey. Cool, you guys chill. I'll go, like, save the world. few bottles, you know, give you something to shoot at. Huh. Well, thanks. That's... Show me that Tokarev Max gave you. Grab the Tokarev from your right hip holster with your right hand. Next, grab this magazine and insert it into your Tokarev. That's sick. <laughs> I love it. Get a feel for the trigger. That is pretty hard to be very accurate. So eject it by hitting this button. Yeah. Can you maybe just throw it to me, dude? Fine. Take this magazine. There we go. There we go. It will help your aim. Oh! Now we're talking. Now grab this magazine and start. Last thing you want is to run into some larkers with an empty gun. Store a magazine in the backpack by releasing it near your body. Sweet. Okay. Impossible to miss. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we are going to have so much fun in here. 
My god. Where's that rat? I hear him. Ooh, look at that. Hello. Take it. So I think that's all three. I don't know if you handled that kind of trolley before, but Akim was complaining it's hard to start. The trolley requires charging. Grab the charger from your backpack. Okay. Take the plugs. Okay. Oh, nice. Serdar, Yana won't like that you left without a word. I've burdened my wife enough. Hey, give yourself some credit. The day is still young. We're not dead yet, guys, and that is a big win for me. This is so cool. Okay. Tell you what, let's take a little break here. If you guys could like the video, subscribe if you're interested, that would be sick. We're gonna continue this playthrough and uh, whoa, is this ever incredible. Thank you everybody, we're gonna see you soon. Check out the links down below, bye for now.